I'm Aaron Graber with Ventrac, and in this video, Ventrac is going to Florida. Unfortunately, I can't be everywhere at all times, and so I did not accompany the tractor to this shoot, but that's why we rely on other professionals to show off the capabilities of this machine in their local regions. So this shoot does not feature me at all. It features Brad with Copper Creek Cuts. One of the nice things about Ventrac is that it's suitable for geographic conditions all over the country and all over the world, and so it's nice to show them in different working environments. For this video, we're combining one of Brad's specialties, which is overgrown properties, with one of our important specialties, which is wet terrain management. And those two come together to show the capabilities of Ventrac in Florida when there's a very challenging property to take care of. So hopefully you enjoy the footage and I will leave it with Brad from here. Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. Today's job, we are cleaning up an investment property. So we have an abandoned trailer, a real estate investor has purchased this property and they're looking to clean it up for future development. So what we have is a lot of thicket. It's not gonna be anything too challenging for the Ventrac, but what we do have is very wet conditions. So it'll be nice to see how that handles. We also have a septic mound. So if you don't know, if you are not on city services, city water, city sewer, you will have a septic mound in your yard that's a raised mound of dirt that has a tank inside of it and all your sewer waste will go into there. We're gonna mow that as well. You should never let anything grow on a septic system because the roots getting down in there, it's just bad for everything. One of the good things about having a lighter machine like the Ventrac is if you took a, a full-size tractor on that septic mound, you could risk compressing it, you could risk damaging the system underneath so it's always nice when you can do that with something lighter rather than something heavier. The brush we have is mainly woody growth. It's not a lot of tall grass. It's like brambles and things. I don't think the Ventrac's gonna have any problem with it, but I'm, I'm anxious to see how it handles it. I think my estimate is 30 minutes or less, but we also can't get any further than five feet in to see what all's in there and the property does go back away. So that'll be 30 minutes with a little asterisk at the end. getting it dirty. I know. <laughs> well, I don't want to put it that back that way. Yeah, don't. That's where I'm mowing. <laughs> yeah, so this is a whole this is a whole tree that uh, made that little grinding noise. That might be the biggest part of it.
All right, so obviously you can't expect the Ventrac, you can't ask it to mow over trees. So we're gonna help it out. And uh, we've just got some recovery gear that we're gonna attach to this uh, shackle bolt. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull these out of the way. So the homeowner will deal with those later, but at least this way we can clean up all the brush like we intended and we won't leave the job looking half finished. So this is the kind of hand labor that a Ventrac bucket would have prevented. I couldn't fit it on my carry-on bag, so. <laughs> So that went better than I expected. We did find quite a few. I don't know if that was just over time these trees fell or somebody cut them a long time ago and never took them away. That was really the only challenge because you saw I had to break out the straps and, and that wouldn't have been a problem except these pieces of log are so dead that they would just snap in half. So I would say that was the only part that was a challenge because um, I had to get off of the vent track and actually do some work. <laughs> but aside from that, Everything went really well. These ground conditions, I've been in similar on the Ventrac, so I knew it could handle it, but it's still really neat to see because before this Ventrac, which I'm new to, I've got five years of experience on zero turns. And I know for a fact, <laughs> my zero turn would not have handled this the way that the Ventrac did. And it's, just, it's really neat to see when you're just floating over all this stuff that you knew if you just had two zero turn drive wheels and two casters, you'd have been stuck in 30 seconds. So I think that's really neat. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more footage of the Ventrac in action in Florida, make sure you check out Brad's channel at Copper Creek Cuts on YouTube. And if you want to check out the rest of the Ventrac videos, make sure you keep on our channel on YouTube as well. And check out our website for any more product information. If you have any questions, feel free to visit your local dealer or ask us a question directly online. We'd be happy to answer it. Thanks for watching.